Drill 9 Front Crawl Pull On the video, this drill is demonstrated without a pull boy to show perfect pulling technique using core strength, balance and coordination. Please progress to this level from using a pull boy only to a pull boy and band and then to a band only before none at all. By slowly following this progression within the drill and all of the coaching points you will develop a strong athlete. Very gradually introduce loading with finger paddles, hand paddles and then extra large paddles. You could even possibly extend this to a parachute or drag wheel. Although I would only recommend this for senior athletes. Kneeling V-sit lat stretch. The elbows are placed on a bench holding a dowel rod with elbows positioned within the spacing of the hands. Having the hands placed in such a way will lengthen the lats and in turn increase the intensity of the stretch. From a kneeling position the hips are drawn back to the heels whilst maintaining a neutral spine. Attempt to drop the chest as low as possible without arching the lower back. As can be seen from the front view, the elbows are placed within the spacing of the hands. Bringing the elbows in further will intensify the stretch on the latissimus dorsi muscle. Eagle pose, arms only. This stretch can be performed from a kneeling or standing position. The swimmer begins by bringing the arm that is to be stretched across the front of the body. The obst arm is brought underneath. So the upper arm sits in the crook. Both arms are then brought back to back. The swimmer then pushes the arms away, creating a space in front of the chest. The arms are then raised. This will encourage a stretch across the back of the shoulders and the mid back. Overhead tricep stretch two. Arms raised above the head, take hold of opposite elbow and draw the arm down the back. Keep head looking forward and in a neutral position. Maintain a strong neutral spine. This must be done without arching the lower back, raising the chest and flaring the ribs. Band power press. With the swimmer beginning in a standing position, feet under hips and facing forward, knees bent and slightly pushed out. The hips are drawn underneath, so they're put into a pelvic neutral position. The shoulders are stacked directly on top of the hips, with the shoulders set back and down. The hand is brought to the middle of the chest, and the exercise begins once the hand is moved away from the chest. This will be the point when there's the greatest tension on the trunk. Reverse sword draw. This movement can be performed from a standing or kneeling position. The band is positioned above head height. The swimmer is facing away from the band in the start position. Depending on the stance, the feet or knees are positioned hip width apart. The hips are positioned in a pelvic neutral position. The shoulders and head are facing forward. In the start position, the arms raise the side into a 1990 position. The movement is initiated with rotation about the shoulder. While the elbow remains fixed, the arm is brought across the body so the hand finishes towards the opposite hip. This movement is then reversed back to the initial position. Alternate Arms Blackburn. The swimmer begins in a prone position. 
face down. The swimmer's legs are squeezed together. This will activate the adductors on the inside of the legs. The hips are drawn into a pelvic neutral position. This can be seen with the arch of the lower back becoming flat. The swimmer's chest and forehead are placed on the floor. The hands are placed into the small of the back. Before beginning the movement, the shoulders are set back and down and the elbows are raised high. The swimmer must maintain these positions throughout the movement. During the movement, the arms are moved in a large circular movement out to the side, finishing overhead with the thumbs pointing up.